Hello everyone, I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Governor Kevin Stitt speaking out about punishment handed out by the State Board of Education. Specifically, last month the board downgraded the accreditation status of Tulsa Public Schools and Mustang Public Schools. It's over accusations the districts violated a new law that limits what schools can teach. It outlaws lessons that could make anyone uncomfortable or feel guilty about their race or sex. The board voted to lower the district's statuses to accredited with warning. Here's what the governor had to say. So regardless of what you think about uh, whether you agree with the law or not, we're going to follow the law. And if we see school districts uh, teaching things that is against the law, then absolutely they need to be held accountable. Well, TPS Superintendent De uh, Deborah Gist maintains the district did not break the law, saying it included implicit bias training within state required training about ethnic education, going on to say there's no sentiment that people are racist due to their race or, uh, or any other factor, saying, quote, we would never support such a training. The city of Tulsa announcing six and a half million dollars of ARPA money will go toward helping Tulsa's homeless and other at risk groups. The program allows nonprofits to submit letters of interest in improving housing to receive money that could go toward things like rental assistance and affordable housing. Nonprofits have until August 19th to submit their letter of interest. All right, let's get over to meteorologist Emma Landeros now for a look at your forecast. Hey, Emma. Hey, Justin. Temperatures are going to be seasonably average for this time of year and a little less humid. So great time to spend outdoors. However, keep in mind we do have that ozone alert day for our area here in Tulsa. So just keep in mind all those tips, specifically refueling in the evening. If you plan on stepping outside, just keep that in mind. But temperatures are going to eventually climb down into the triple digits before we cool down in the 80s.